Welcome to the Visual Center. I'm Carlos, and I'm here at the Visual Center print shop to teach you how to use a rotor trim. If you're printing your work, and you should be printing your work, one of the most common tasks you'll have is trimming your image. And the best tool for that is a rotor trim. It makes cutting easy, clean, and accurate. And I'll be showing you a special technique that'll help you get perfect cuts every time. Let's get started. Like any time you're handling prints, it's important to wear gloves. Now I have some prints here that have a white border that need to be cut down so we can do full bleed. Now a couple of things to know about the rotor trim is that these larger models only cut in one direction. We can see right here, it indicates that it cuts from right to left. So you always wanna make sure that your blade is out in preparation for cutting to the left. Now rotor trim does make a 14 inch cutter and that one can cut in both directions, but the larger ones always cut from right to left. So always make sure that your head is out far enough for you to feed your print through. Another feature of the rotor trim is this grid with a ruler on it. So you can measure out how far you wanna cut and the grid is square with the cutting edge. And so you can use that to line up your paper to get a nice even straight cut. Um, another thing it has is this square bar. This is square to the cutting edge. So you can also use that to get straight cuts. Now, something that can happen, especially over time, is this square bar here can sometimes get off, especially the further you get out. I have a really long print here, and the further we get out on cutting it, sometimes that square can get off. I've seen it get off almost to a full 16th of an inch before. So this technique that I'm gonna show you will help solve that issue. But before we get to that, let's go through the basic function of the rotor trim. You lay your print down, you push it up against the square bar, and you slide it under the protective guard. This is this plastic right here. Now the protective guard is not where the blade cuts. The blade cuts flush against this metal edge. And another thing that this metal edge does is it sharpens the blade as it goes by. So this is a self sharpening blade. One of the great benefits of a rotor trim. So you push your print through and you want to try and line it up with that metal edge. And again, that can be a little difficult depending on how wide your border is. So what a lot of people will do is they'll start a ways out. They'll do a cut, but then I'm left with this really thin white line. And so I have to cut it again. So push it out just a little bit further. But one of the great things about the rotor trim is you can get this really, really fine cut. So you can get really precise with how you cut your prints. And I'll go again, cause I still have a white line. And so doing the standard way takes a lot of steps just to get that full bleed edge. You have to cut multiple times just to make sure you do it. At this point, you would rotate it. You now have an edge that you can then put on that metal edge, that cutting edge right there. You can line those right up. And then you can cut this way. And then you can rotate it. Give it a cut. And now it's hard to see right here, if I grab a black piece of paper, we can put it behind here. You can see right along the edge, I still have a hairline white line. And so I have to go back and trim that again. But if you don't wanna keep cutting and cutting and cutting, here's a great little trick. Let me grab a different print. Here I have a larger one. So we call this the corner trick. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut diagonally until the corner of the image is touching the edge of the paper. And we're gonna do that on all four corners of the print. Once we have that, we'll be able to take those two corners and place them along that metal edge. What this solves is you no longer have to use the square bar, which can get off over time. And you can just put those corners directly on the edge 
and it's always going to be square no matter what. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And if, if you're doing this yourself and you're nervous about it, you start a ways out and you start cutting diagonally in towards that corner just until the corner touches the edge of the paper. Okay, we're going to do that on all four corners. And sometimes it doesn't have to be perfectly touching. You can have a little bit of space just as long as you can see how close that corner is to this metal edge. So I'm going to take these two corners and I'm going to place one here and here on the edge of that metal bar underneath my paper. So there and there. Now that my corners are placed on that cutting edge, one cut gives me a nice clean cut on the edge. If I grab this black paper, I can put this underneath my print and you can see I don't have any hairline white lines on the edge of my paper. Okay. But I've done all four corners and remember to always move the head out this way. The reason for that, there's a little guard on the back of this blade here and if you cut in the wrong direction, that guard will smash into your paper. So again, place this corner on the edge this corner on the edge, cut. And cut. And cut. And there we have a full bleed image with perfectly square cut lines. So that's how you use a rotor trim. If you have any questions, put those in the comments below and let us know what you think about the corner trick. Make sure to subscribe for more videos from the print shop.